we were manager David Chadwick following the 2 0 away win at FC United. Chaddy, congratulations because that was exactly the kind of performance we, we've been looking for, isn't it? It is, it is, especially after Saturday. I said Saturday, I've, I've not seen anything as bad, and that, and that totally contradicts what you see there tonight. But that's you know, playing like that is what we've been doing most of the season. You know, we've not had the rub of the green, but one of the, one of the problems for me was key, people making key mistakes in key mm. areas and costing goals. Mm. Today, pound for pound, they defended like warriors, and they had a spell. They, you know, I'm sure stats will say that where they had half an hour in the second half, there where they chucked absolutely everything else, but we defended as I've asked them as a core, strong, putting the bodies on the line. They did everything right. And it was thou shalt not pass tonight, and, and it was just testament to every single one of them. Even the subs who come on, they were fantastic. You know, the the first goal was scored by Joe Adams, and it, and it was a moment of real, sort of almost individual quality, wasn't it? Because he collected that ball, cut and set it. <coughs> yeah, curl it. no keeper was going to stop that. No, and it's mad because he got he got put away before that, didn't it? And he's done one of the worst crosses ever, and I was just calling him, and then he's put that on his other foot, and then yeah, brill. How many times has he done that for us? What a player. You know, he controlled this side of the pitch for staff. He ran out of steam, ran out of steam last 20, which I expected him to. But then we brought Nathan Kane on, and he did exactly the same. Yeah. Great job, great job by all. And uh, Lewis Mansell got the second. And if, if, if there's one man that absolutely deserved a goal on that pitch this, this evening, it was him because he, he ran that top line, didn't he? And, yeah. and it was a proper, it was a poacher's finish. And it's, no, it's something it that Lewis has been working so hard on yeah. since he's come in, isn't it? It is, it is. And um, obviously, we give him the armband tonight, which he keeps telling his keeping. Um, but he tested, he works so hard. But how many times we put the crosses to him as well? Not enough for me because that's what he can do. You know, Oli Patrick come off the bench there, did exactly what we said, set him up, game clincher. Uh, no, I'm just I'm just delighted for them all. And then just a word to that defence, especially the last 20, because you know, we, we, we looked organised, we dealt with everything, we looked calm. And, and how, 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 how hard have you been working on that? Because we said at the start of the season at times, you know, we've kind of we were one nil up and we then ended up losing two one. You talked about was sitting back a bit too much, yeah. sort of being a bit naive at the back. Mm. Today was the opposite, wasn't it? You could hear them squeeze, squeeze, and I'm saying, just squeeze, squeeze the line, squeeze the line. Oh, they were chucking men forward, and you've got to be brave, you know. And maybe we're being brave, so you've got to match it. But then it created little spaces for us, and I think the the last ten minutes they, they, they slowed down the pace before the injury time. You know, but we we started blowing gaskets everywhere, you know. And I know they were saying they were faking injuries, but they weren't. So, you know, you've got hamstrings pinging everywhere there, and you know, also she wanted to make certain subs. Lewis Kilton was unbelievable tonight. I didn't want to take him off, but his hamstring was pinged. So it's you know, again testament. It, it, it probably went ten minutes before that, mm. and he was like, "No, I'm not coming. I'm not coming off." You know? and, and, a, and a real moment of unity, I think, for the club after both those two goals in that full time, because everybody's been pulling their hair out, haven't they? Yourself more than anybody over the past few weeks. But how did it feel at last for it all to come together? Have that time with the fans and just sort of really celebrate what is a historic victory for Everton Goals Football. It, I was made. I was made up for the fans. Obviously, we've had a bad run. Do you know, I know the performances haven't merited the, the points they got, but that's football. So you, you know, you, you've got to crack on. But they were loud, you know, and you could see the delight on the on the on the faces. There, and well, you can't rest for that. Mm. You know, it's only one game. Mm. You know, straight away I'm thinking Ilkeston home. Mm. You know, you've got to. It's, you know, we're in a situation where we carry on playing like that, then we're fine. But you've got to keep that consistency now because yeah. they prove they can do it. Again. I'm looking ahead to that Elkeston game. Then is exactly what we're looking for. Build on this. Yeah. You know, it's almost frustrating that we've got that 10-day gap, but we, we yeah. build on this. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Brilliant. Cheers, Charlie.